spell practice. Thank you guys for all of your sweet suggestions and messages and comments about how to get through sports life with kids. It's not that I don't like doing the sports life. I actually love it. I was an athlete growing up and I I didn't do the travel. Cav is very into travel. He was brought up doing that. I was not. We're married now. So I'm going to do what is supportive for my kids. He feels like they need to do that if they want to do college ball. It sometimes It's not that I don't like doing the sport thing. And someday I'll probably miss it, like a lot of you are saying, maybe. Anyways, I just got back from the sale that one of you told me about last night. I just saw your message late in my DMs last night, and I was like, oh, I need to go to this. It's in this old, it was in this old, um, like Spanish. I actually would choose, rather have my kids in sports than not in sports. I feel like it keeps them busy, it teaches them teamwork, lots of life skills, and it's just really good for them. Sometimes I just feel like that's all we know. I know a lot of you are in the same boat as me play theater building that they used to do Spanish plays in and they don't do it anymore it was like years ago but I guess this family has been collecting all these antiques over the years so they were opening it to the public and selling all of their stuff it was like the worst sale ever I am not blaming you that told me about the sale there was actually cool pictures that they put on there one was a clawfoot tub and a couple other like antique things but I got in there and most of the stuff was not even antiques and a lot of it was already sold so I don't know if they sold it to like family or I don't know there's gonna be a lot of frustrated people that were waiting in line for that I wanted to walk out of the building and shout it's the worst sale ever getting some succulents for those concrete planters that I picked up the other day I like this combination that's probably way too many for what I need Do you think all five layers of paint will come off at once? I hope I don't get dirty from this because I already showered. You're kidding me. At least it's coming off fairly easy. Chester, do you approve? I thought so. Things it's usually when it's like layers of paint or paint that won't come off, then I'll use a furniture strip. And I usually just put it on. I wiped it on with a paper towel, but you can brush it on. Then I covered it with plastic wrap, leave it on for. This is what it looks like after last night. I just use citrus strips. Some of you ask the process when I do strip things, which I rarely do. And the reason for that is because I think it's easier to sand. And if I have to strip hours, I mean, however long it takes to have your paint start peeling off, you can check it on and off. Sometimes you leave it overnight and then you start scraping it and see how I got little scrapes here and there. I didn't care because I knew I was going to go over and sand it down, sand all this off too. And this is, this is not wood like veneer. And so it will just get those marks out of there. Practice went over an hour today. Then I was nice and went and dropped him off at home, even though I saw an estate sale sign on the way home. Look what I got. $5 for this cute little copper old watering can.